We have a president who has bragged about transforming our society. We have a president who has bragged that he wants to spread the wealth. I've got it on audio. Has David Gregory at MS, excuse me, at uh, Meet the Press on NBC, has he not heard this? Mr. Producer, let us get Cut 11 ready. Let's start with that. This is uh, Obama, October 2008. Go. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. What does that mean? Obama, January 17, 2008. What he's going to do to our energy system and our energy prices in this country. Cut eight, go. Uh, the issue of coal. Uh, you know, the, the, the problem is not technical, and the problem is not, uh, you know, sufficient mastery of the legislative intricacies of Washington. The problem is, can you get the American people to say this is really important? and force their representatives to do the right thing. That requires mobilizing a citizenry. That requires them understanding what is at stake. Uh, you know, and, and climate change is a great example. You know, when I was asked earlier about uh, the issue of coal, uh, you know, under my plan uh, of a cap-and-trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Uh, so he, he wants to change our whole energy system. The coal fields are going to be shut down effectively. And electricity prices are going to necessarily skyrocket. So he wants to transform that. And who can forget his exchange in October 2008 with Joe the Plumber? Cut eight, uh, cut nine rather, go. Your new tax plan is going to tax me more, doesn't it? It's not that I want to punish your success. I just want to make sure that everybody who is behind you, that they've got a chance at success, too. I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for it. Well, who supports spreading the wealth around? What kind of, what kind of economy is that? And then we have 2001 WBEZ-FM radio interview of Barack Obama. Cut 10, go. Uh, but the Supreme Court never ventured into the issues of redistribution of wealth uh, and sort of more basic issues of political and, and, and uh, economic justice in the society. And uh, uh, to that extent, as radical as I think people tried to characterize the Warren Court, uh, it wasn't that radical. It, it didn't break free from the essential constraints that were placed uh, uh, by the Founding Fathers in the Constitution. That's enough. Excuse me? didn't break free from the essential constraints that were placed by the Founding Fathers and the Constitution. What's all that mean? And then we have David Gregory. Just this past Sunday, nobody was watching. I sure as hell wasn't. Why waste my time? But there we are, David Gregory, with Tom Coburn and Schumer. But let's listen to this. Cut three, go is a description of political discourse and political disagreement as being apocalyptic, uh, having such huge consequence for the direction of the country? I, I think that's a false premise totally. Uh, everybody has tried in the media. I, I, I've pretty well been uh, disgusted with all the media, right and left, after this episode, because what it does is it raises and says that there's a connection. And, and the president rightly said there was no connection to this. But, that, uh, but that's not political what political discourse but, to this event. That's that's not no, the premise said here. Was, but Senator Coburn, you you know as well as I do that there are people, and it is true that it's very often on the right who describe President Obama as somehow an outsider who is trying to usher in a system that will do two things: that will injure America and deny them of their liberty. Do you condemn that belief again, and try to reject it? I'm not making a sweeping generalization. I'm certainly not tying it to the event. That in and of itself is a strain of thought. All right, is that's it not? enough. That's enough. No, David Gregory. President Obama's just your garden variety, moderate Democrat. Same with Pelosi and Reid. They don't want to transform society. They don't want to spread the wealth. They don't want to violate private property rights. No, no, no. We right-wingers, we're the problem. 